Right now, where we at? Central Park is going down. Chinatown. In the center of the universe. Times Square, baby. Yeah. What up? It's your boy Greg G, the Golden Child. You already know what it is. Rapper, producer, even an educator. But I would have never had this opportunity, especially to teach at the Harlem Children's Zone, if I didn't go to college. So I want to take the opportunity in this vlog to talk a little bit about that, investing in yourself. I got the microphone to let my conscience spill, cause all I can do, what you do, Greg, is be real. From the north side of San Antonio, I had a great opportunity uh, to have a scholarship to go to UTSA for music marketing. Make a long story short, I lost my scholarship. And when I lost my scholarship, not graduating was not an option. So I picked up some student loans. It was troubling at first. It made me, you know, kind of be like, oh man, I'm gonna owe people money. But I didn't feel bad because I knew that I was invested in me. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's alright, it's okay. We go. I wasn't only relying on student loans. I had two paid internships. One with AmeriCorps Public Allies and one with the San Antonio Spurs. Go Spurs, go. The amount that you take out, it's all based off your needs. There were some semesters where I took the maximum amount because I needed to buy a new computer or I needed to buy new studio monitors. And there's some times that I didn't take out the minimum because all I needed to do was buy my books. So it's based off of what you want to do and the choices that you make. They say in life is all in how you live it, so I'm out here trying to get it. My bank at the time, uh, they gave me an option of paying the interest while I was in school, which was a very small amount. Go to times, everything that I've been doing is just a lesson. Yeah. Just a lesson. <laughs> The only thing that I'm paying off now is what I really took out and what I really owe. Listen, I just got a voice and I'm trying to take my message continental, so I'm out here trying to get You get a whole lot of money at one time and it's easy to divert and buy things that you don't really need. You are responsible for your decisions and trust me, they're going to come back to you after you're done with school. Because I took out student loans and invested in myself, I'm able to sit here right in front of you today, in New York City, doing everything that I want to do. They say in life is all in how you live it, so I'm out here trying to get it. In fact, I want to close this vlog out with a countdown of my top five favorite things about New York City. Let's go. It's raining a little bit, but we get through it. Gotta be fresh though. Still gotta be fresh in the rain. Still gotta be fresh in the rizzy. Number five, trying new things. Cheers. What? I'm about to do this. Number four, taking in the views. Number three, it's like living in a movie. Matter of fact, cue the movie music right now. Number two, 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 two. Cheap and even free things to do. Sometimes walking across the Brooklyn Bridge makes me feel like I'm super American. Like, I'm talking about oh, say you can you see for real. Number one, if you dream it, it could happen. You gotta keep it player, baby. 